Hello everybody. Now today's challenge is to practice subtraction again. We've been doing lots and lots of addition, haven't we? We've been adding two sets together to find the total by throwing dice and using dominoes and using our duplo. So let's just remind ourselves today because subtraction is a little bit different, isn't it? So I put some words on the board because they all mean take away, which is another uh, word that we use. So that's the word I use first, subtract, take away, minus and less than. So we've been practicing counting back on the number line this week, haven't we? And getting really good at saying the numbers in the correct order. So that's a clue. If we're going backwards down the number line, we're taking away, we're subtracting, we're working out the minus. Now, we can do that with objects, and we've had a go at that using our snowball subtraction a few weeks ago. And we did a subtraction squish, do you remember, when we had to roll up little balls of Play-Doh and we had to squish them when we were taking them away. So we can still use those ideas as well to help us work out some subtraction challenges. So if I turn the board round, I want you to help me read my subtraction challenges today, my number sentences, because we've got to make sure we know what the number sentence means that we have to do, we have to recognise all the signs. So let's just read the first number sentence. So I'm going to point to the number, here we go, what does it say? Six, take away, we could use subtract or minus, let's use take away. Six, take away two, equals. Now just have a little think, if you had to work that problem out, what would you do? So we've talked about the snowball subtraction or the subtraction squish. Now we had lots of fun with Duplo last week, didn't we? When we were adding sets together, so we could use Duplo or we could use another set of objects around our house. So it's up to you to collect some objects, maybe a set of toys or some more Duplo, and to have a go at working out these number sentences. So let's have a go at the first one together, and just to remind you what to do. So it says six take away two. So we always start with the biggest number. The biggest number is always at the, is the first number in our sentence. So I've got too many there. So I'm going to get six. So I have to get the right number of objects to, before I can do anything else. So get six objects, that's what it means. So I've got my two, four, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. And now what have I got to do? What does that sign tell us to do? Read it out loud, shout it out. It says take away, doesn't it? Or minus or subtract, they all mean the same things. So we've got to take something away and find out by counting how many left. So six, take away two. Well, my sets of Dupla are in two, so that's going to be easy for me. It's fallen off the bottom. It's already gone. Let's find it. There they are. There are my two Duplo bricks. So I've taken away two. Now, what's going to go here? I count, don't I, what I've got left. So I should know by counting, or I could look, I've got one, two, three, four left. Now, before I write that down, I want to show you something else, because in school, we would have our Numicon, wouldn't we? We would have our Numicon shapes, boys and girls, and we do really good counting with these, because these shapes really help us to subitize. Do you remember to look for the smaller numbers in a bigger number. So just to remind you, because you might be able to organise your objects like this, we had six to start with and we needed to take away two. So just to show you with my Numicon, I can see two at the bottom. They go up in twos, don't they? So if I was to take that two off and subitize, I should be able to see quickly the number that's left. And I've got four left, haven't I? So that's just another little reminder that these Numicon are really, really useful to help us with our counting and adding and taking away. So six, take away two, 
equals, well, we had four left, didn't we? So let's write that number sentence. Now, let's read these together. And then I want you to maybe pause the, the video and have a go at working these out yourself. And then play me again, and then we'll work them out together to see if you got the same answers that I got. Okay, so we'll read them first. So let's read the next number sentence. So the next number sentence says, read it with me. Nine take away three equals. Okay, so that's our biggest number there, the nine. So we need to find nine objects, don't we? And to take three away from them and to count how many left. Let's try the next one. Ten take away five equals. So again, that's the number of objects that you need to find and count carefully first and then take away, take away five. And the last one, we've got seven and we're going to take away four. Okay, so again, seven will be the largest number in that number sentence. So what I want you to do now is find yourself a set of objects, you do play bricks and toys, and work out those number sentences. See if you can work them out. You might want to have a go at writing them down, or your grown-up might help you write them down. So it's good practice at writing our number shapes. And then press play, and I'll show you how I work them out. Okay, see you in a minute. Okay, everybody, have you had a go at these number sentences? Let's see how you got on. So our first challenge was nine take away three. So I've got my nine cubes and my nine duplo bricks. And I've got to take away three this time. So let's make sure they don't wobble off this time. So I've taken away three, taken away three, they're gone. And I just need to count the answer. How many did you get? Did you get one, two, three, four, five, six? Did you get six? Brilliant, because that's the answer. So again, thinking about our number shapes, writing our number sentences carefully. Okay, what was the next one? We had 10 take away five. Now, just a little reminder, because when we're doing 10, I always think that my 10 fingers are really helpful. So Always remember, boys and girls, that you've got those counting fingers to help you as well. And with a 10 take away five, I all straight away think, oh, I've got 10 fingers. I can use my 10 fingers. And I know, or I should know by now, that I've got five on each hand. So this is a really easy one with our 10 fingers. I bet you know this, don't you? You know that five and five all together make 10. So that's how adding and taking away help each other. They work together. But today I've got to take five away. So that was easy, wasn't it? I'm taking those five fingers away and I've got five left. I bet you got that one really quickly, didn't you? And again, if we'd used our cubes, there's my ten. Take my five away and I've got five left. And we call that a double, don't we? It's a double number because we've actually split 10 into two equal sets. We've split them in half. And when we put them back together, we've done an addition sentence because five add five make 10. So we need to start practicing thinking, oh, if I know what numbers add together, I can also work out how those numbers can help me when I'm taking away. So that's just a little bit of extra thinking as a challenge. So there we go. I've got five left from 10. And the last one, seven take away four. How did you get on with that one? So we had seven. And I'm going to take away four. There we go, and it's counting carefully, keeping our numbers together. So four have gone away. How many did you get left? Did you get three left? Well done if you did. So brilliant working out of those number sentences. Now, that was great because you've used your objects and you've counted really carefully. Now, last week, 
we also had a challenge at using a number line to help us work out adding two numbers together. So if, if you want a little bit more practice at using objects with your grown-ups, you can have a go at making up some sentences and using your objects to practice taking away like we've just done. But if you want to have a go at using a number line and practicing counting back on the number line to practice taking away, then watch the next part of the video and I'll show you how to do it. So I might see you in a minute, okay? Hello boys and girls. Now, if you've come to try the subtraction challenge on a number line, then don't forget to get one out of your learning pack, okay? Out of your home learning pack. So I've got mine on the screen. So there's some number sentences on the screen, so we're just going to have a go at working out the same number, type of number sentences, subtraction sentences on the number line. Now, this week you've been practising counting back in lots of different ways, haven't you? You've been playing whack-a-mole on the computer and you've been playing games where you've got to count back as well. So, let's see if we can read our number sentences like we've just practised using real objects and Numicon and if you remember, the rule is when we're taking away, we count back down the lumber line from the largest numbers all the way down to the smallest numbers. Now, my number line hasn't got a zero on it. There isn't one on here because it's, it's a number track, but yours has. So I'm sorry about that, but it didn't have one on here. But I don't think we're going to get need to get as far as zero. So let's have a look at the first number sentence that's flashing up there. Now, again, practice reading that number sentence. It says five take away three equals. So the first thing you have to do is to look at the first number that tells you how many objects to collect, like we were just practicing. And on, on the number line, it tells you where to start counting from. So I've got to start from five, haven't I? So I'm going to put my pencil onto number five here. And how many have I got to take away? So I've got to take away three. So I haven't got three objects on the number line, but it's telling me I've got to count three jumps, three steps, just like we did when we were adding three. Now we've got to count back three. So let's see if we can make the pen work. So I'm starting at five and I'm going to jump back three. Now remember, just the same with addition, we don't count from five. We don't count five again. The first number we count is when we move our pencil or our finger onto the first number backwards. Here we go. So, one, two, three. So I've counted one, two, three steps now on the number line. And where have I landed? I've landed on two, haven't I? So just to show you, those are my five bricks that we've been counting with before, practicing with objects. And I needed to take away or subtract three. And I've got two left, which is the same number that I've got on my number line. And again, thinking about those counting fingers, five counting fingers, there they are. And I've got to take away three. One, two, three. And there we are. I've got two left. So that's all we need to do on the number line. We just have to practice counting carefully. So let's see. Let's pop our number in today. We can. So three, five, take away three equals two. Brilliant. Now, if you've got your number line there, you can help me with this next challenge. So let's read across at the next number sentence. So it says... Let's read it first. What does it say? Seven, whoops, seven, take away two equals. So think, where are we going to start on the number line? 
brilliant. We're going to put our finger on seven. I'm going to put my pen on seven. And how many have we got to take away? Take away how many? Take away two. So that means I've got to jump back two steps or move my finger two numbers back down the number line. Okay, here we go. So there's seven. And I'm going to count now. Move, remember, moving your pencil, move your finger to count one, move your finger to count two. And what have I landed on? I've landed on five. Brilliant. So let's see if we can pop that in to finish off our number sentence. Come on, box. There it is. Didn't want to play today. There we go. Let's pop it in. Seven, take away two equals five. Okay, let's have a go at the what the next one along the top and then you can have a little practice. So, look, read the number. It says six, take away four equals. So, shout out where are you going to put your finger on the number line? You're going to put it on the number six this time and how many are you going to count back down the number line you're going to take away or count back four steps or four jumps aren't you so let's get my pen ready there's my number six i hope you've got your finger on number six on your number line and let's count back so let's move our finger or pen to count one to the first number one two Three, four. What number have you landed on? Have you landed on number two? Brilliant, because that's the answer. Six take away four equals two. So let's pop that in. There we go. And we finished our number sentence. Brilliant. Now, there's two more on the screen there. So let's see if you can have a go. Just have a little practice. Uh, press, press pause on the video. See if you can work out this one on your own. 10 take away 2 equals. So you try and do that. And I'll just rub out my number so I'm not putting you off. Use your number line. And the other one that I want you to have a go at is 9 take away five equals. So press pause and then when you've had a go at those two, press play again to see if you got the same answer as me and you worked it out just like me. Okay, speak to you in a minute. Okay, have you had a go? Okay, let's have a look at that first number sentence. Ten take away two. So shout out, where did you start on the number line. Where did you put your finger or your pencil? Did you put it on the 10? Well done if you said that and you did that. And I've got to take away two. So I'm going to jump back two, one, two. Did you get eight? Did you work that out as your answer for 10? Take away two equals eight. Let's pop our answer in. Well done if you got eight. And again, counting fingers, you could have counted back, taken away two and counted how many fingers you've got left. Always remember those counting fingers. OK, so let's have a look at the last one that we looked at. So that was nine, take away five. So again, which is the biggest number? It's number nine, isn't it? So that's where we put our finger or our pencil to start. And we're counting back to the smaller numbers. So remember, the takeaway five is the number of jumps we're going to take. It is, we're not jumping to the number five. We're counting five jumps or five steps backwards. And that's the tricky bit to remember, isn't it? So let's have a go. Here we go. Let's count our jumps. One, two, three, four. Five. We just made it. And did you get back to number four? Is that what you got for your answer as well? Brilliant. Well done. So nine take away five equals four. 
brilliant. If you manage to count back carefully on a lumber line to help you take away, that's a really, really useful activity to be able to do to help you add and take away using a number line. If that was a little bit tricky for you, then it doesn't matter. Keep practicing counting out with your objects. If you thought that was easy peasy, I could do that, well, you could have a go and challenge yourself by choosing some bigger numbers and starting counting back from the larger numbers. Maybe you could put a, if we put a one in front of all these numbers to make them into the teen numbers to a 15, a 17, a 16, a 19, and a, another 10 on adding to a 10 would be 20, wouldn't it? So our number sentence there for that one would be 20 take away two. So you might want to challenge yourself by starting with some higher numbers as well and practice counting back on a number line. And when you play games like snakes and ladders, they're just bigger number lines, aren't they? And they sometimes make a number track. So your snakes and ladders game, if you've got one at home, it might go up to 20, it might go up to 30 or 50, it might go up to 100, but it's still a number line and you can practice counting on and counting back. So practice those number sentences, practice counting back and practice using real objects. So have a look at the other activities today and see if, see if you can choose which way that you're going to work out your subtraction challenges. Okay, well done everybody. Speak to you soon.